And in my crass teenage way, I said, who's the white lady? <laughs> and they were like, no, that's your great grandma. She's Jewish. And I was like, what? She's Jewish? I'm Mayan Zeke. I live in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. My mom is from Jamaica. When I was 15 or 16, went to Jamaica for a family event and we were all back in my grandmother's house. So I saw a picture of my great grandmother on the wall and they told me that she's Jewish. I needed to find a different spiritual home and then to find out that there's this Jewish person in my family. I was like, oh, that's it. My first time going to a, a Shabbat, my levitating kippah on top of the shro situation and the talit katan just like draped around my shoulders. And I'm like, Rabbi, should I do all of these things? And he was just like, no. <laughs> If you're really sure, then we'll do classes, celebrate the different holidays, come to shul, etc., etc. So I decided to move to Brooklyn and I needed to find a new synagogue. Now I'm in Crown Heights. Around Hanukkah time, the friend of mine told me, like, you should go check out 770 for this huge menorah. I found the synagogue, great. So I went, went to the women's section. Eventually I see these two women. And so then they start yelling at me and they're like, get out, get out, get out. And they start telling me how they're gonna call the police. And they chased after me. They even spit after me and told me, don't come back here again, leave. I cried. I never thought that this would happen in New York. So then I think to myself, I won't let her affect my journey, my experience here. I'm persistent about the things that I want. So then I think to myself, I need backup. <laughs> so I talk to my neighbor and she agrees to take me on a Shabbos. So I go there and again, the same woman says, the Rebbe doesn't want you here. He hates people like you. And my friend stands up and says the Rebbe respected and loved all the people. And if anything, he doesn't like people like you who discriminate. And I was just like so overjoyed to have an ally. I do feel at home in the Chabad world. So one summer, uh, there was this thing called the knockout game. Random teenagers roaming the Crown Heights streets and just punch Jewish people as hard as possible, not caring whether they were um, old, young, boy, girl, etc. Some people were sent to hospitals and it was just very horrifying. Jewish people are wary of danger from like all angles and I don't think that the black community necessarily understands the history of the Jewish people. Jewish people don't understand the history of the black people. A child wouldn't hold my son's hand. He told the teacher that my mom doesn't allow me to hold the hands of anyone who's black and so my son says to him, well, look at that. It, it turns out I'm brown, like a tan, almost kind of orange. So you're good. Like, let's hold hands now. We're put here to be a light unto other nations. You can actively do something about the problems and, and make it better. Am I optimistic about the future of the Jewish people? Yes, yes I am.